raw milk sold by vendors is likely to be dirty and contaminated with harmful chemicals and a risk to health. It is also not processed, regulated and traceable. The handling practices are generally poor and predispose the milk to contamination, including adulteration. Dairy farmers in Maua have benefited from the circle greatly when it comes to maintaining high milk quality. Yes, uh, we are working with uh, other development departments, uh, like uh, county government, they have assisted us with the coolers, uh, whereby we stole uh, our, our milk. Um, we have given us about three plus, which we have placed at uh, uh, three strategic places. We are able to pull our milk and then from there we distribute. Uh, what we think uh, for future is that uh, we want uh, to undervalue the milk and uh, maybe increase the, the time, the life, uh, the life of the milk, so that it can be sold even for a longer period uh, by packaging. We want to, to, to be first, uh, packing, uh, packing the milk so that you can be to sell even into other areas. We want to venture into uh, other areas because we are only concentrated within Maui and the environment. So we also have started, uh, started increasing the production. By one by we offer our farmers uh, AI services at a founder for it. We have our stores for resale. One by they also get the farm implement and uh, animal folder at uh, subsidized prices. Uh, so that at least when they improve the, 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 the breed, uh, they also be able to bring more milk. And also the feeding one, the feeding program. We also train them through uh, various trainers with the government so that they can know how to take care of their animal needs uh, for them to be able to produce more milk. Capacity building for dairy farmers is important. Most dairy farmers lack sufficient information on how to rear dairy cattle using new and modern farming technologies, which in turn lowers production. Poor farm practices such as inbreeding and poor hygiene when milking increase the chance of diseases such as mastitis, which is quite prevalent in high production dairy cows. Every farming venture has its own special challenges. Currently, the challenges we have in dairy is the cost of production. Uh, the cost of production has gone up. However, the price of milk has, uh, has not been able to be adjusted because of the hawkers. Uh, because uh, there are people who need, want to sell cheaply, they don't want to wait for those two weeks to get their, their payout. So they just sell uh, cheaply. So when they, they are selling, the daily, uh, the circle is not able to adjust the prices because they are those competitors. And they know their ovens are, are, are lower. So they, 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 they don't mind. Yeah, that, that, that's the problem we're having. Unless now the government intervenes and they streamline that, uh, the marketing of the milk. Otherwise, the normal, when you go to a form on daily farming, it is becoming a, a problem. It's a challenge now to produce at a profit. If, if I went buying this pen, I'll go to a shop and ask, kindly I want to buy that pen, how much are you selling it that the pen at? Then they told me that this pen is about 100 shillings, 50 shillings, and 200 or so. The dairy farmer goes to a shop, prices for inputs are dictated. But when the farmer is selling the milk, the buyer of the milk dictates the price of milk. It is, it is discouraging the farmers in Meru and they know in this country. Now, when they hook that milk, the prices are higher, almost in double. It is a struggle to tell them to go and process. We would wish to have that milk processed. A litre in the milk deficit areas of Meru North goes at between 50 and 70 shillings. The processors are giving us less than 35 shillings. Sincerely, how do you convince that farmer? Right? Kenyan farmers, including Meru, they are going for cheaper raw milk. Of course, we have challenges because there's risk of disease, the quality of that milk. That's, how, that's why we really feel processed milk is better. It's better to take processed milk because we are sure of quality, it's pasteurized. The, the, the content is known, but when it is hooked, 
we have a challenge, but it is happening and it's not right. We are working very closely with the Department of Public Health and uh, the dairy board to ensure that the milk that they sold is of the same quality. Yeah, the right containers, the right content, so that people can take that milk. Otherwise, regarding coolers, this county has a, has a capacity of processing of cooling about 120,000 liters a day. According to Stanley, many dairy farmers use poor breeds for milk production. Uh, we sit there with a few members, and, uh, but uh, as of now we have almost more than 3,000 members. It's only the production which, uh, per member which is very low, because there are very many members who are producing very, uh, very little, as little as two or three, uh, three liters per cow. Those are the farmers that we are want to train and we assist them to improve, uh, improve their work. They are, they are breed. One of the most common questions dairy farmers ask is how they can have high quality dairy cows without paying the high prices for pedigree cows. Locally, the milk butter fat content is not considered when determining the price of milk. Freshian is an ideal breed because it provides high milk volumes which is the only determinant of dairy profitability. Among the dairy breeds, Freshian has the lowest butter fat content while the Jersey breed has the highest. Among dairy breeds, Jassy produces the lowest volume of milk, followed by Gansi, while the Asha is the second to the Frisian. Farmers always confuse between pedigree cows and pure bread. Pedigree are pure bred cows that have verifiable records of their breeding history and milk production. Such cows are registered with the Kenya Stud Book through the Kenya Livestock Breeders Organization. The records show how the animals have been bred down to their great grandparents and the characteristics or traits they have been bred for as well as their milk production. The class of pure bred cattle commands the highest price on the market and can fetch up to 300,000 shillings for a pregnant Frisian heifer. The purebred, on the other hand, are cattle without breeding records. These are high producers but do not have systematically kept records. The records may or may not have been kept with the Kenya stud book, but the cattle owner could have the records on the farm. The cows fetch a fair high price, up to 200,000 shillings, for a pregnant Frisian heifer. Records are the only thing that differentiate a pedigree and purebred cow. The approach is basically to improve milk production, you have to start with good genetics. Then you embrace feed. You do disease control. Of course, you train farmers also on animal husbandry. Those are the four key areas. Of course, we can't leave out good roads yeah, to the market, improvement in the management of cooperatives who under the milk, among others. But here as a department, we are only addressing production level, and this is genetics, feeds, disease control, and basically farmer training. Now regarding uh, genetic improvement, the county is running a program where importing genetic material from outside the country. We have, we every day have enough, actually there is no year we have found uh, we have not been able to serve farmers because we have no semen or we have no liquid nitrogen. We have imported, we have imported the genetic material for currently from Britain. Uh, previously we have imported from Brazil. Very good genetics. We have genetic material from our own. That is a Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Center. We have an MOU. They sell to us. And uh, we have two air inseminators per sub county. We are doing an average of 5,000 inseminations per annum. We are sure in five years we have done over 20,000 inseminations. The private sector is doing a very good job. The Mirror Dairy Union has its own inseminators. They are, they are private, including the cooperative one, the Mirror Dairy Union which actually processes about 30% of the, that milk produced in Meru. Uh, that's all for genetics. The private sector, we have government supplementing. The government is doing 50% of the cost of the simulations just to cover 
those who cannot be covered by the private sector, those who completely can't afford, or they are very far away. There are very few keepers who are just uh, very far away from the center, and the private sector cannot go there. So we have those others so that the government can access them and serve. Lastly, there are cows that have a high degree of bread purity from their appearance and milk production. These cows have moderate production of 20 to 30 liters per day and they are very common. However, such animals do not attain their milk production potential mainly due to poor feeding. The cows, when in good shape, may fetch up to 120,000 shillings for a pregnant Frisian heifer. Send us your feedback through our free SMS portal on 2207 or engage with us further on our social media platforms at Farm Kenya.